In this video, as promised, it'll be up to you to define a new Mongoose model and actually use it. Down below, what I'm gonna do is comment out our existing call to save and the new model we create, as we don't wanna add another user when we run the challenge code. And down below, I have the challenge comments outlining what I'd like you to do. Your goal is to create a new model for tasks. You're going to define the model with a description and completed fields, exactly like we had before. And then you're going to create a new instance of the model and save it to the database. Last up, you'll be testing your work. This is similar to what we did up above when we defined the user model, created a new instance of it, and then saved it to the database using the save method. Now for the task, we want description to be a string and we want completed to be a Boolean. You can use Boolean types by simply using uppercase B Boolean like we've done with string and number before. All right, take some time to knock this one out. Test your work by actually viewing that new task over inside of the database. Once you're done, come back and click play. How did you do? Let's go ahead and kick things off by defining the model. So right here, a const uppercase T task, and then we'll be using mongoose dot model to define the second model we're working with. Remember we pass in a name for the model task, and we also pass in an object. And this is where we define what exactly makes up a task. In our case, we are choosing description and completed as the two fields. So we can start with description. We'll set this equal to an object, and then we'll set its type equal to a string since the description will indeed be a string. And the only other thing we're gonna set up is completed. And completed will also have a type. And as mentioned, I wanted you to set that equal to a Boolean. From here, we can move on to step two and create a new instance of the model. So down below, I'm going to create a new task that's lowercase t, making sure it doesn't conflict with the uppercase t variable up above, and we'll use our constructor function. We're going to create a new task providing the object, and this is where we define the data for the task we're creating. I'll go ahead and set description equal to, and I'll just use a generic description, something like learn, the mongoose library, and then we'll go ahead and set completed for the task. And I haven't learned everything about it just yet, so I'll leave that as false, incomplete. Now that we have the task instance created, that's step two, we can actually use the save method to make sure things get saved to the database. So down below, task.save is what we're gonna use. Now we mentioned earlier that save returns a promise, so we can add our promise method calls right on there. I'm gonna add then for when things go well, and then down below, I'll also set up catch to handle those potential errors. And if things do go well, console.log, I'll just dump the task to the terminal, and if things go wrong, I'll just dump the error right here. Console.log printing the error to the terminal. Now that's all of the code we need to write. That is steps one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and run the file to test our work. It should define the task, create a new instance of it, and save that new instance to the database. I'm gonna rerun the script and what do we get? I can see that while I do get a notification about something completely unrelated, I also have my object printing down below. Normally I put on do not disturb mode on my Mac when I record, I must have forgot, but I just enabled it. So this object contains all of the properties we were expecting. And the last thing worth doing is to just make sure we're also seeing this data in Robo 3T. So that would be under a new collection. I can right click collections and click refresh to see my tasks. Then I can go ahead and click view documents to view the one task we've created. And right here, we have the exact values we provided. Now you'll notice that we have lowercase u users and lowercase t tasks, but at no point did we ever write that. Mongoose actually takes the model name you provide, task right here and up above user, and it converts it to lowercase and it pluralizes it. 
it then uses that as the collection name. So user gets stored in users and task gets stored in tasks. We'll see some of the other things that Mongoose does for us as we continue to explore its features. That's exactly what we're gonna do in the next video. So I'm gonna remove those challenge comments. I'll save the file for the final time in this one, and I'll see you in the next lesson.